Okay, this is a Rheem water heater. We're gonna go ahead and remove the, or switch out the thermocoupler. So first, this plate right here, take it off. From there, you're gonna go ahead and take off this foil piece, as well as remove here, down here, and up here. And when you do that, make sure you turn your gas off as well. So right there, I'm gonna go ahead and switch that off. Okay, so this is a 7 16th. Go ahead, going to go ahead and remove the first piece. Go ahead and pop it out. On the top, and now the bottom. Okay, this one is a 10 millimeter, so we're gonna go ahead and remove. Loosen it up. Pop it out. And now we still have this center piece that we need to pull out. So now we need to remove a few lugs and screws. So here, here, down there, the one on the underside, here, and here. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all of those. So the drill on its own is uh, not able to reach into that crevice. So I use this attachment and that is going to pull it out. The drill and the extension and all the pieces in it are super affordable. Uh, comes with two battery packs, which for some name brand ones is the cost of the battery just on its own. This whole kit costs $50. So I will put a link down in the description below. All the screws are removed. Go ahead and re pull out the back plate. This is the new pilot assembly with the thermal coupler that is going to be installed. We're gonna go ahead and remove the old one. So the old pilot assembly kit, I pulled it out this way and removed it. And this is the new one. So you put in the end pieces there and then from there, just pull it back. You're going to make sure everything lines up and then you're going to screw it back onto that bracket. The new pilot assembly kit is in. Go ahead and screw it into the mounting bracket. Now you're going to screw back in the lower air box. Finish screwing it in. So this was the old inner door gasket. New one is applied. And now we're going to put the 
inner door assembly. Okay, so now we're gonna put everything back in. Go ahead and tighten it by hand before you use your wrench to screw everything a little bit tighter. Gas supply line and pilot supply line are both in nice and tight. So now let's go with the piezo igniter wire and the uh, burner supply tube as well. That's the burner supply tube. Again, use your hands to make sure it's in nice and tight before you use your wrench. And the piezo igniter line. Okay, drilling everything back. Okay, so everything is back on. Before we put everything back and screw it in, you can see right there that the pilot is on and it is heating the water up. So that is how you replace the pilot assembly for the GE Ream water heater.